I'm Michael Hunter in the kitchen with Foodism, and today I'm cooking Antler's Game Burger with Traeger Grills. And my alarm goes for the burger. Did you pick that up? All right, always make sure the pellets are full. So my business partner and I started Antler about six years ago. And for me as a chef, I'd always wanted to, you know, cook game meats and really focus on Canadian cuisine. Antler for me was really just a, a chance for me to cook, you know, exactly what I wanted to cook. This game burger has been on Antler's menu since day one. My favorite recipe for a burger is venison, wild boar, and bison. Uh, venison is really lean, but I really love the flavor. So that's why I add some wild boar for fat. Really, it's just a flavor combination of all three that I love. So what I'm gonna do here is just create a little patty and just press that between two sheets of parchment or wax paper. The main difference from using wild game versus even farmed game is this the flavor. Deer will eat a lot of cedar, so that really comes through the meat. I don't think I could ever go vegan because I've, I've tried that diet. It didn't work for me, and I'm, I'm a carnivore at, at heart, so uh, I, love, I love eating meat. Having protesters outside the restaurant you know, was really stressful really confusing for us you know we welcome everyone at antler whether you know you have a vegan diet a kosher diet a halal diet so antler we had been protested for about four to five months once a week and you know the day i brought the deer leg into the window i was really just fed up now looking back on it it's kind of funny and it you know there, we we can smile about it um, but at the time it was pretty awful using a traeger takes all the guessing out of you know cooking with wood and smoke. The probe thermometer really takes the guessing out of the donenesses. And it's really just such an easy, phenomenal piece of equipment that I love to use at home and I use at least once a week. So this one I'm looking for, a nice little caramelization and char on the meat. That looks amazing. <laughs> so our burgers are done. I'm just gonna slice our bun here. We do a homemade bun at Antler and we do a duck egg aioli and then some homemade pickles. The experience of writing uh, the Hunter Chef cookbook was great. It was really just me learning more about photography, learning more about foraging and hunting and, and fishing and all the things that I love. For me, it was just a wonderful experience, you know, start to finish that I, that I really thoroughly enjoyed. The really hard part with COVID is, you know, looking to places like the States and seeing them opening so much faster than us. I knew we had to do something to, uh, to cut, drum up some business and just stay relevant in the city. And I came across a 1970s Dickie D ice cream bicycle. And I just fell in love with this thing and thought, you know, we're, we're already making some kind of foraged wild ingredients um, infused in our ice creams. And I just thought this would be a great kind of pairing to serve off the bike. And no steak ice cream, unfortunately. I'm gonna do a little salad here, just with a quick lemon and olive oil dressing. All right, here we have Antler's Game Burger with smoked cheddar and duck egg aioli. Still my favorite burger. I get asked uh, if my last name is really Hunter all the time, um, and it's really, uh, I got lucky branding that one. <laughs>